Hey everyone, this is Tass and welcome to my channel. So I'm back with yet another sadhya dish that can be made in the instant pot. So it's Onam in my home state Kerala in India. So I wanted to wish everyone, all the Keralas around the world, a happy Onam. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make Kerala special paduppu or lentil curry in the instant pot. So this is one of the main curries that's served in Sadhya along with rice. So in my previous video, I've shared the recipe for making sambar, which is uh, lentil and mixed vegetables curry. So that's uh, yet another curry that's served in Sadhya along with rice. So let's get started and let's make this easy to make and delicious aparipu or lentil curry in the instant pot. So let's cook paripa or lentil curry. So for that, I'm gonna add one cup moong dal. So this is uh, rinsed under running water. You can also add tur dal if you prefer. So either moong dal or tur dal can be added. Adding two cups water to cook the moong dal. Add one teaspoon salt. Close the instant pot with the lid. So select the pressure cook setting. So I'm using instant pot 7-in-1 duo model. So I have to click on manual and I'm going to set the time to uh, 10 minutes. So I don't have to click start. There's no start button here and uh, the pressure should be at high. So let it pressure cook for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes of pressure cooking, let's do a quick pressure release. So the pressure has released completely. I'm going to open the lid. So here is the well cooked mold dal. So look at that. It has cooked really well. So it only requires 10 minutes of pressure cooking. So keep it aside. Next we're going to add the ground coconut paste to this and cook it in saute setting for a few minutes. Let's ground the coconut with some ingredients to a blender jar. I'm adding one cup grated coconut. Add two green chilies, two garlic cloves, and a few curry leaves, like five curry leaves. Half teaspoon cumin seeds. Half teaspoon turmeric powder. Add half cup water. So just enough water to make a coarsely ground paste. So next let's grind this. Here is the coarsely ground coconut. Uh, so I'm gonna add this to the cooked moong dal. So going to add the ground coconut paste to the cooked moong dal. So rinse the jar with one cup water. So add that as well. Let's select the saute setting at uh, normal temperature. Now let's cook this for a few minutes till the gravy thickens and um, the coconut has cooked well. So combine everything well. So to this we will not be adding any chili powder. So we have added green chilies, so that will impart the spice. So if you want this to be really spicy, you can add up to four green chilies. Okay, now I'm going to give it a taste. We might need to add more salt. We only added one teaspoon salt. Adding half teaspoon salt. So this is perfect. So let it cook for five minutes uh, till the gravy starts to boil. So the gravy has started to boil. So this is cooked well. So I'm going to turn off the instant pot and going to remove the stainless steel pot from the main pot and keep it aside. Next we, we are going to add the tempering. The pot is still hot, so if we keep it in the 
main part it will continue to cook so that's why i'm removing the stainless steel part from the main part so keep it covered for some time so let's make the tempering for parupa or lentil curry so i've placed a frying pan over medium heat let it turn hot so i'm adding ghee one tablespoon or one and a half tablespoon ghee if you don't have ghee you can add coconut oil but ghee will make the paripa taste really delicious so let's add ghee and make it delicious so after the ghee has turned hot adding one teaspoon mustard seeds and let it splutter two whole dried chilies so next adding salt so fry till shallots turn light golden in color so the more the curry leaves the better the taste so keep stirring and we don't want the shallots to burn and uh, fry this over medium heat a nice aroma is coming out of this since we have added ghee oh my so this has cooked well shallots has turned uh, golden in color so remove the pan from the heat pour the tempering over the paripa or lentil curry and keep it covered so it's very important that we keep this covered so that all the flavor from this tempering will get into the uh, paripa. So keep it covered for a few minutes. So our paripa is ready here. Here you have it guys, Kerala special paripa or lentil curry that's made in the instant pot. So this is a very easy to make uh, dish yet tastes very delicious uh, and this is one of the main curries that's served in Sadhya along with rice. So in Sadhya when we serve paripa with the rice we have to also pour one teaspoon of ghee over it so everything is then combined well and enjoyed. So ghee, paripa and rice taste super delicious. So when you have this, don't forget to add a teaspoon of ghee uh, to the lentil curry. So that's how it's enjoyed in Kerala. Do give this recipe a try and let me know your feedback. So I'll be posting more sadhya dishes that can be made in the instant pot in the coming videos. So stay tuned guys and I'll post the recipe link in the description below. Check that out. Uh, so let me know your feedback and um, happy onam to all the Keralites around the world. Uh, so enjoy, uh, take care and bye.